Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. The Star Wars universe is well known for its iconic scores, and Star Wars Battlefront 2 is no exception. The music plays a central role in bringing characters to life and setting the place for gameplay. It's definitely one of the best original soundtracks to a video game that I've heard in quite some time. That's due in no small part to composer Gordy Hab. Gordy has composed music for a wide variety of films and games, including Star Wars Battlefront 2. Recently, he took some time to discuss his involvement in the game with me, and I figured you might enjoy a behind-the-scenes look at the composition of music for Star Wars Battlefront 2. So, Gordy, thanks for joining me here for this. Let's start with what your reaction was to being approached to do the music for Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, excitement, I guess. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, I know it's such a huge title and along with it carries a lot of weight and pressure, but, you know, I'm, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so, and a fan of, you know, the Battlefront series, even the, the, the original one as well. Um, so, just sheer excitement because to get to be a part of something so big and you know such a great universe is is really just an honor i'm a child of the 80s and you know i so some of my first film experiences were star wars and you know i can recall you know waiting around for the, the what we you know back in the day what we called the hbo book which was like a listing of you know when movies would play and then given a month and I just scan it and try to find Star Wars anything and, you know, watch whenever I could. And uh, so I grew up on it. You know, I think the first time I saw a Star Wars film, I was probably five or six years old and, you know, just became completely fascinated, would reenact the movies with my, my sister and my cousins and, you know, just was basically a Star Wars geek from day one. And, uh, you know, and a, a big part of it for me was the music. And, uh, I mean, I can recall... The, my favorite moments from the film, now looking back in retrospect, um, were my favorite moments simply because of the, the music. Uh, you know, example is, you know, the first time we see Darth Vader in A New Hope, you know, he busts through the door and what makes that so awesome is this giant gong hit, you know, in the music. And, and at the time, I didn't know what that meant or understand that that's what was triggering this, you know, this fear factor. But, uh, but now, in retrospect, I do understand that that's exactly what made it so amazing and dark and heavy and awesome in the true sense of the word, since the word awesome. So, Absolutely. You've written 160 minutes of original score for Star Wars Battlefront 2, and obviously you're standing beside some real big shoes with John Williams. What's it like writing music that will live alongside John Williams' iconic themes? It's both exciting and, and an honor but also frightening and daunting i suppose because uh, you know i mean i consider john williams to be uh, you know one of my musical heroes i mean probably the largest influence on me as a composer and a musician was john williams scores that accompanied all the films i grew up with in the 80s and uh, so yes i mean for me it was um you know it's kind of getting to live a dream i've had you know my whole life but at the same time i knew there was a large amount of pressure to step into a position like that and live alongside of, you know, the master, so to speak. So, you know, I mean, that was a bit scary, but, you know, I've, I've, I've worked on this franchise. I mean, the Star Wars franchise and games, at least for, you know, a good part of a decade. My first score was the Old Republic. Um, and I think that came out about uh, maybe eight years ago. Um, so it's, I'm not completely new to having to, to jump into those shoes, but, you know, each time it, it still carries the same weight and, uh, you know, sort of that, that dauntingness, I suppose. This is more of a personal question. How do you add to the conversation that is Star Wars while remaining true to yourself? Yeah, you know, this, I mean, it's a really great question and I get asked this a lot and, um, I mean, I have sort of developed, I guess, a philosophy for that, I guess. Um, you know, and, and when I first started doing this, I mean, I really had to think about, you know, what do I want to do and say here? Do I want to just imitate the scores of John Williams? And, you know, essentially it would probably make, uh, you know, 75% of the fans happy because it didn't sound like Star Wars, but there's always going to be that 25% that really know that it's just a, a knockoff 
And uh, that, that's, you know, sort of method one. Method two was something I sort of devised, which is rather than just imitating like a paint by numbers, um, I would rather listen to a lot of the John Williams scores and sort of figure out what makes them work. You know, sort of the way I, I like to describe it is figure out which colors he's using in the, in the spectrum and then add those colors to my own palette and then just forget his scores completely for the entire duration of, of working on the project. Never listen again. Just write the music I hear most naturally, but I'm just using the palette of colors that he also chose, um, which tend to be heavily symphonic and rooted in sort of the romantic and neo-romantic eras of classical music. Uh, I mean, you can hear his influences and, um, you know, I, I chose the same influences, so to speak. So it's rather than you know, saying, oh, well, John's melody would do this, so I'm going to do that, but I'm going to change a couple of notes. You know, I wouldn't do that. I'd write my own melodies, but I'd orchestrate them in a way that, that John might orchestrate them, you know, using the same palette. We mentioned earlier that you've come up with a lot of music for Star Wars Battlefront II, but out of that, what is your favorite composition? Oh, man. Wow, that's a good question. Um, I would... I, I, I know the answer right away, and um, it's it's Iden Versio's main theme. And the reason I'm so attached to this particular piece of music is because it was sort of my first real opportunity to create an original theme for a character that was truly sanctioned as part of Star Wars canon. And along with that came the knowledge, of course, of of knowing the music that I'm creating is also becoming uh, a stamp on Star Wars canon. So I was really excited about that. And, um, you know, I, I read all the scripts and I had storyboards and I had, you know, uh, screen captures and concept art and that kind of thing to work with. So I really started to learn the character Aiden and try to get behind that character and really understand what makes her who she is and, you know, create something that that fit her in the same way that, you know, John would have created the theme for Yoda or Leia or Darth Vader. And uh, so that was kind of exciting, and I was really happy with the results of what I did. Um, there was a, a lot of conversation and back and forth between myself and the developers to create a singable, memorable uh, sort of hook, I guess, a theme hook for Aiden that could also be translated quite easily to many different styles so that, you know, it could... Yeah, I, I think essentially by the time it was all done, I mean, this... This is what amounts to probably a 20 second long melody is reiterated about in about 40 minutes worth of music in the game. So I really expanded on this theme and I think that's my favorite aspect of it. Awesome. Although you just spoke at length about Aiden's theme and the answer might contain some story spoilers, can you expand a bit on how her character inspired that composition? Well, so being an Imperial character, uh, at least in the opening of her storyline, um, you know, sort of dictated immediately, you know, the, the tone of the music. Uh, she's a military-minded, uh, very emotionally driven character. So I wanted something that was dark, heavy, a bit militant, um, you know, strong. And But also, she has a great story arc, and she's very, like I said, she's a very motivated character. So I wanted it, the, the theme itself, like the actual uh, melody, to have this sort of upward reaching, sort of heroic arc. So it's aiming upwards towards a, you know, an apex high note, essentially. And uh, to sort of follow the arc of who she was. And um, that also lent itself well to, you know, leading into, you know, some of the more dramatic and emotional moments uh, around Aiden. And uh, it helped me to sort of follow the, the larger arc of her story uh, throughout the campaign and uh, really create something I think le that leads and feels like it's going somewhere and aiming towards a, a peak. Excellent. So finally, last question here. Is there anything you'd like people to know regarding your work on Star Wars Battlefront 2? Are there any music related Easter eggs? Yeah, I mean, you know, there's one thing that I haven't spoken about in any interviews and, and somewhat purposely because you know I didn't want to in advance of the release of the game spoil any storylines that kind of thing but um, you know there's another character theme I mean actually there's quite a few character themes in the game particularly the campaign 
but um, there's one in particular that I'm really happy with, and that is uh, it's Garrick Versio's theme. Now this is Iden's father, and um, he's also a very you know strong, bold character. I mean, he's you know an imperial character as well, and uh, just because of his character being so strong and sort of rooted in his ways and his thinking. Uh, you know, where Aiden is very dynamic, so to speak, and, um, you know, it's this always upward-reaching kind of thing, um, particularly in the music. And for Garrick, it's the theme that I wrote for him is almost an exact mirror image of Aiden's theme. Uh, if you actually were to listen to them side by side, you'd hear that Aiden's theme is moving upward, similar rhythm, similar, uh, you know, sort of pitch choices, and his is almost a mirror image of it coming down. And uh, I thought that was kind of a cool way to sort of show that, you know, this moving downward is kind of feels like it's anchoring. And I thought it was, you know, a good way to show that he's very anchored and settled in his ways. And, uh, you know, the upward reaching uh, melodic figure for Aiden is definitely more a way of saying, hey, we're going somewhere with this story. So that's it's something I thought was kind of cool and you know, it's subtle and probably a bit more subliminal, but, you know, a cool way to sort of tie the two together like a family lineage but also kind of show what their characters really are about very cool that's some really neat insight and as soon as i track down garrick versio's theme i'm gonna have to listen to that comparison and gordy i appreciate you taking the time to talk to me about your work in star wars battlefront 2 cool that's great thanks i really appreciate it for those of you watching the video, Gordy says future DLC for Star Wars Battlefront 2 will contain more new music, so if you enjoyed his work in the game, hopefully you're excited to hear that there's more on the way. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know with a like and a comment in the video description. It is something a little bit different than what I normally do, but it seemed like a good opportunity to branch out and to bring you some cool insights into video game production, which I know more than a few of you are curious about. Do consider sharing on websites like Facebook and Twitter, and if you want to support the channel, please subscribe. That goes a long way into raising our visibility. As always, thanks for watching.